That's crazy. Maybe he's just having a spa day. Maybe. Soaking his tail in the water. Mm -hmm. What kind of bird is that, Ethan? I mean, it's probably just like a normal hawk or something. I don't want to see it fly away. Yeah, we should open the door. Well, this is an unexpected predator. Looks like this hawk was fooling us by taking a drink at the pond. I think he's way more interested in the baby peacocks. Kiwi's on high alert. She, can, she is. She can see that hawk. Chickens don't mean, seem to be too worried except for Egbert. He's a little bit concerned. Yeah. We normally don't keep roosters here because they're kind of annoying and we want to be nice to our neighbors. But they are really good protection for different predators that come around. It is kind of nice to have him. Goats don't care. They're not afraid of a little hawk. A little bird. Luna and Stella are eating over there. They don't care. Doris doesn't care. Willow and Penny don't care. And Ron and Hermione think we're very interesting. This is what the liege fighters were bred for, but... I think they're gonna be really good protectors when they get really big and strong. We just forget they're so small and young right now. Yeah. Well, Mr. Hawk ended up flying away, but I don't think he was realizing how big Kiwi is because there's no way he would be able to fight her and get to her babies. So at least we have one strong protector on the farm. Before we start today's video, I just wanted to say thank you so much for supporting us in the last video's sponsorship. I know it can be super annoying when YouTubers do sponsorships. I honestly worry so much about you know, doing them too much or, you know, making people irritated at having to listen to us talk about a different product. So I really appreciate it when we get all the kind comments from you guys. Thank you. Always here, bright and early, Doris. Come on. She like hesitates. <laughs> so she thinks we're gonna open it for another goat to come in and close it. So she, she's like, Are yeah, you sure? Yeah, <laughs> I can. The only thing is Doris doesn't like Penny. When you give her food, she, she like, she'll be sitting like this and then she'll get ready for you to start milking her. Doris doesn't do that. Yeah. She Doris. just like sits and She kind of stays over here and you gotta kind of get her ready. You have to do it yourself. Finally found the spot where all the chickens have been laying. It's like an Easter egg hunt. And so right here behind all this wood, they have a nice shady spot. We're gonna have to float these eggs to see if they're bad. Are any of them floating? That one's kind of weird and maybe that one. Huh, here put that one like, yeah, it's still kind of floaty. Okay. I think that one's a bad egg. Anything else? <laughs> it's hard to tell when there's so many in there. I don't know. I would say no to that one too. I think all the rest are good. Okay. Maybe they're just mad at us because we haven't finished the chicken palace and so they're going in the corner here. But we'll get it done eventually. It's just really hot right now. We're at 115 degree temperatures and so it's just put off a little bit till it gets cooler. The only thing is she never wants to leave. And so she tried, wait, what, where Doris. are you going, Doris? Doris, go back, that way. She loves the leaves. Yeah, she eats a couple leaves in here. Come on, Doris, you're done. Oh, okay, you're welcome, come in, it's okay. Come on. Since Penny and Willow are mother and daughter, they always come in together. They're not gonna be able to do that once we start milking Willow. That's true. 
few people have asked when we're gonna milk Willow. Well, milking a goat is a lot, you know, it's a lot like milking a human. <laughs> so, uh, goats don't produce milk until they've had babies. It's really similar to humans. Humans don't produce milk until they've had babies. Once she has her babies, her milk will start producing and then we will start milking her about two weeks after she delivers. So, being such a good girl, Willow. The only thing I've noticed about Willow that's different since she's been pregnant is she's been ravenous. Oh yeah, she's been eating a lot more. Yeah, she's like, been eating, eating things that she normally wouldn't eat. Mm -mm. Like the... She's actually always been a bit of a dainty, picky yeah. eater, and now she's like, she, eats anything. she is hungry. So we've been giving her lots more food. <laughs> People have had questions about this as well. You you uh, breed them once a year usually because it is like humans. They, they, they're in milk for about a year, which is different also for humans. Some go longer than a year. Luna can go like two or three years, but most goats only go about a year and, uh, and then they stop producing milk and so they have to have another baby. Breed humans every year. <laughs> oh, they always go to outside. Yeah, they always want to get out. All right, I guess Luna's next. Tilly's nowhere to be found. She's way over there in the chicken palace. The half-finished chicken palace. Tilly! You missed your turn! Luna is so good, guys. We don't even have to, like, gesture. Okay, don't do anything. You can't see if she does it. She's so naughty. Look at that. No, she just Go. wants permission. Go Man, she's been so good. We never have to do this. She's just doing this today. Okay, you can do it. Go. Oh, good job. I don't know. Luna's also my favorite. <laughs> They're all my favorite. You're my favorite. Did you know that? You've been with us the longest. Luna isn't our oldest goat. Penny is our oldest goat, but Luna's the one that's been with us the longest. We got her way back when our kids were super little. I don't know. You guys were maybe six yeah. and eight. The age that Lydia was able to ride her. Yeah, like Luna used to give Lydia little rides around the farm. So yeah, we love her. We've had her forever. Silly, you were late. Now you gotta hang out with the piggies. She's like sandwiched in between us. He'll get your food, just a second. She's always very concerned, like, why why are you not feeding me? We were showing this last video how she like tries to, she's like, <laughs> she like looks down and then looks at us. She's like, it's right there, guys. It's right there. And she stares at you. Yeah, she stares at us and she's like, see that, please? Put that in the bowl. Yes, she's like in here. She's like in, in here. In the garbage. Give it to her. She gets an extra scoop, guys. She's oh. bigger. She's bigger than the other goats. Willow needs to That's right. What are you going to do today? I've got to plan out my garden and planting. What do you need us, us to do? Well, we need to do a second round of dishes for sure because we haven't got caught up. Caught up. I don't know if you guys need to start. You just did your laundry, so I don't know if Ethan, you need to do yours. I do. Probably should do that. Um, it. Guys, her. Willow's still eating. Not whole time. Going. We milked. We milked Penny and we milked Luna. And, and look, she's and Doris, and she's still. She's eating. so slow. Tastes like a pellet a minute. Can't let her go. Well, let's see here. Okay. Go. No, you don't get to get to Willow's food. Come on. Come on. Good girl. No. Uh oh. <laughs> it wouldn't be so chaotic over here if it wasn't for the pigs laying, like, sprawled out right in front of us. Finally, Tilly. We get a lot of emails about Tilly and how people don't like her, <laughs> don't think she's a good mom. But Tilly's actually pretty sweet. As as annoying as it is that she chews everything and rejected one of her babies and kicks at the sand, we still love her. She, she kind of 
she just she still acts like a baby. Yeah, she she's kind of like does. She's like a little teenager. All right. Let's see if I can do the perfect throw so that they don't fight. Okay, go. I'm on this end. I'm on this end. It worked. <laughs> Back when we had Fred and George, we could have two separate pails and they would eat from the two separate ones, but I don't know, Ron's pretty aggressive. So even though we have two separate ones, he still steals it from Hermione. All right, Tilly, his last one, we're done. <laughs> she, what? I don't... she just wants some love. No, she really wants to go this way. Everybody wants to steal Willow's food. There's nothing over there. Bye-bye. Willow's still eating. Okay. okay, Willow, we'll give you food out here. Come on. Come on. All right. Oh. Oh, okay. That's second what happened. Breakfast. Yeah, second breakfast. Here comes Ethan. He's got lots of food for you. Bye, Willow. Now it's time to let the little babies out, except they're not so little anymore. All right. You have to go like Stella. Here, you hit it. Stella and Fern, come on. Run! Let's see if they still nurse from their mamas. Yeah. I guarantee they do. Oh, they go straight to the feed bin. Wow. They're slowly weaning themselves. We're down to just a half gallon a day, so still enough for us to drink and use, but it's definitely a lot lower than that gallon and a half that we were getting at the beginning of the year. So milking four goats, three of them being Nigerians, that's about how much milk we get. One, two, three. The ducks are finally old enough to be released. We have a cool man-made lake here that uh, has tons of vegetation that we can take them to. They're gonna love it. Unfortunately, they were never very friendly with us. They run away from you, but that's okay. Makes it easier to take care of them a little bit. Well, it's time to pull out the last of the summer crops. I had a few things growing, but now it's the end of the summer and you have to just make a decision as a gardener if you're gonna let things linger or if you're gonna start pulling it out. everything now prepped for our fall winter garden which in Arizona is the most prolific time to garden we kind of suffer through the heat and then we gear up and oh man get excited because this fall winter garden is gonna be awesome now I'm gonna cook one of our last meals from the summer garden so we'll see if you guys can guess what it is <laughs> 